Hello and welcome back to the second part of my unboxing review of my new Red Dragon Endra K55 mechanical keyboard and my Red Dragon Perdition M901 gaming mouse. I have been using both of these products for a few weeks now and I must say I am satisfied with them. I do like them a lot. And I'll go ahead and begin telling you about the keyboard. First thing I gotta tell you all is that I did replace the WASD and 1 through 6 keycaps. I did replace them with a coarse air keycap for a Cherry MX. Uh, the reason why I did that is they are textured and I wanted it mainly for you know so I don't lose my place when I'm when I'm gaming on this keyboard so these caps are awesome and the caps like I said are for a Cherry MX key switch uh, this keyboard does not use Cherry MX's it uses a a off brand that is like the Cherry MX's. It's they advertise the switches as being comparable to the Cherry Greens. Um, it's I would say it's more like the Blues. I do like them. They sound amazing. They are great. Haven't had any problems yet. So I'll go ahead and begin telling you the light functions of this keyboard like a lot of the RGB keyboards out there this doesn't use a software you can change the lighting by hitting the function button in any of the these buttons the page down the end delete insert home and page up so right now it's on function end which is a customizable you can customize any any key to be any light. So right now I have it yellow and blue, but you would just hit function and end, puts it into the setting to change all the light, the lights of the keycaps, and you can just go through and change each individual keycap. Completely customizable. And any any key is you can change the lighting of except for like the media ones your your uh, the volume up volume down play buttons they don't have lights at all and your G buttons up here they don't have any lights so next is function delete which just scrolls through all all the the colors like the rainbow and you can change the direction And you can pause it. And that's it for that function. Next one is function insert, which it fades the colors in and out. So right now it just went yellow to orange to red. And you can pause it. So you found the color you like, and you just pause it. And function insert to continue the transitioning. Next is function home. There are a few options in here. So the first one is a rippling effect inside to out. And it's just, it just does it on its own. Next is function home again and it's a typing rippling effect. And the ripples go like I said from inside to out. Next option within the function home is this option where it transitions each color like I said, inside to out again and just goes through all the colors. And I believe you can pause it on a individual color. I believe that's the last option there. And then it's back to, to the beginning. Next is function page up. Once it scrolls through the colors, right now it's going left to right, and I believe you can change that to go right to left. 
and you can pause it. So right there in that transition over here it's white, right here it's red, a little pinkish there in the middle. And just turn it back on by function page up. Last option I have here is function page down, which lights the key up when you type, and then it fades out. And you can also change the color of the key by hitting function page down, changes the colors. And back to white. So we'll go ahead and go back to the customizable screen, which, like I said, that's how I customized it. Now I have been using the keyboard. It took me a day or so to adjust from using mobile keyboard, but I haven't had any problems with this keyboard. I I like it a lot. It does sound great. And I will go ahead and do a typing test for you all. So that you can hear what it sounds like. I'll go ahead and begin that now. Okay, so there is a short, brief sound test of the switches. Like I said, it is an off-brand switch. This keyboard was priced very, very well. Uh, it was $79.99, I believe, on Amazon. So other keyboards like this, RGB style, I mean, your name brand, that is, because this is an off-brand. You're, you're paying 100 to... $150 or more and you know my thing was I wanted to do everything on a budget so very nice really do like this keyboard it is great so we will go ahead and slide that to the side and we will go ahead and talk about the mouse so an unboxing video I was unsure of what these buttons are, which honestly, all these buttons are programmable through the software that came with this product, with this mouse. And, I mean, of course, it's on the set default, you know, left click is left click, right click, right click, and all, all that good stuff. But it's all, like I said, it's all programmable. What these two are set as right now is the DPI plus and DPI negative and it changed the speed of the mouse and this is up it's all the way turned up this is down turned all the way down I go in about the middle I like the middle and I set the color up to match my keyboard also so but um and these buttons and this here the lights are programmable through the software I'll show you that as well Okay, one other thing was the weights. Never seen a mouse have anything like this before. You can take each individual weight out to adjust the weight how you like it. And of course it did come with a case to keep the weight stored. So I went ahead and tried the the mouse without the weights and 
of course they made the mouse lighter and much easier and quicker to move the mouse over my mouse pad. So I went ahead and tried it with all the weights. I made it heavier. And I mean it still glides really well on the mouse pad. It just takes a little bit more to move. And honestly I liked it being heavier. I wasn't sure how I would fair with it being light or heavy and I liked it being heavier so that's my personal preference uh, so next was I've never used the mouse with all the buttons with all the the buttons on the side so I do play WoW or World of Warcraft so it took me a few days to get used to it of course these buttons in the back are harder to hit but one through six very very simple to hit and very simple to use after a couple of days of getting the hang of it I really enjoyed it made it made gaming a lot funner a, a lot easier for you know casting spells and everything it was really cool and the the DPI when this mouse is on its highest DPI, I mean, it's... I could see where it could come into play for your first person shooting. But for me, it is like overkill. It was way too fast. You move just the slightest, you're across the screen instantly. So, and of course, lowest setting, you really have to move a lot to get that, to get your pointer across the screen. So that's why I ended up I went with a with a middle setting, which is good for me. So I will show you the color, which is changeable in the prof in the software. And that's the other thing. Profiles. This mouse has five profiles that you can set it up under. And once you get the profiles set up in the software you can use this button right here. Let's see if I can get it zoomed in on it. The setting switch, which you can scroll through the five profiles without having to go into the software, which is pretty cool. Uh, the software does not work on Mac, it is PC, but you can set the software up and you can plug the mouse into a Mac and you can change the profiles by using that button if you use Mac so that's pretty cool but okay let me show you the lighting and I'll show you on the software how how to do the lighting uh, so currently I'm in the lighting and right now I have have it yellow like I said matching my keyboard so we'll change it to like a purplish color and what you're seeing is the, they call it breathing, it's kind of like pulsating, which that can be changed as well. There's, you know, you can turn it off completely, or should just stay on. Probably got to save it. It should just stay on now. Yes, and it is. And low, middle, and high. And this is what the high pulsating looks like. And you can also change the brightness level. You can turn the lights off completely. Except for the scroller, and you can turn it on its bright at the highest, you know, low, medium, and high. There's high. And let me go ahead and change it back to yellow, where I like it. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and get everything set up so that I can show you how the software works on the computer so I'll be back in one moment okay so 
here is the software. Let me try and zoom in a little bit so you can see it. Don't mind my background. I am a narco fan. There we go. Okay. So this is a general tab, which is where you can program all the buttons. So like this this one here is number four and it is set up for your fire key so it could be rapid fire and you it's complete all these buttons are completely programmable so let's see here I didn't change any of these because it's perfect the way it is for for the top these are all fine I like the way it is but you can change it I mean you completely programmable really cool uh, next is the side keys which is where you can change them as well completely program programmable pretty much single key you can change to anything on the keyboard oh. so hit backspace number one on the side is going to be backspace now so can change it to any key on the keyboard you want it to be. We're going to leave it at 1 because that's the best option for me. Uh, next on the general tab is your acceleration, pointer speed, and scroller speed, and double click speed. You can change all that. It's really cool. And here's the profiles like I was talking about earlier. So you can change the profiles around. Uh, next is, well, that's why I'm having problems. I have the DPS setting all the way up. Let me turn that back down. There we go. Next is the DPI, which you can, there's five of them for each profile, so you can change the DPI settings. And here's the light screen, like I was showing you all earlier, the breathing speed, the brightness level, and change all the colors. And this is just the info tab. It gives you the information on the mouse. But yeah, let me see if I can show this to you. I'll turn the DPI all the way up. I am barely moving my hand at all. And it's just super fast. And this is turned all the way down. I am moving a lot. So right there in about the middle is where I like it and that was because I was also on the other profile so explains that but that is the software for the mouse pretty simple interface really easy to use I mean it took me eh, five or ten minutes to really understand it especially with the programming of all the keys but very very simple system to use and these these two products like I said I couldn't be happier with thus far it's been about two weeks since I've been using them and I I couldn't be happier with them they're priced very very good I believe I paid I believe I paid thirty dollars or the mouse don't hold me to that. I know I believe the keyboard was seventy nine ninety eight, I think is what it was. Um I'll put links to they're both on Amazon. And I actually had to contact the company about the keyboard because or the mouse. I had to contact them about the mouse because the Amazon buyer didn't have any. And Red Dragon they got back to me really quick and actually let me see if I can get this in the frame that is their website I'll also put that in the description as well so that you all can access that information and I do thank you for watching I hope I hope that these two videos did help you uh, like I said I couldn't find any English versions of the review for the keyboard so that's why I am doing this uh, there's a lot of reviews on the mouse, so if I missed any information on the mouse, you can definitely find it on some other reviews. I just tried to cover that real quick, and 
I do thank you all for watching this video, and I will be doing more videos in the future. My next one will be for a Katsu Kitty Capture Kit Game Boy, because I'm going to start uh, doing some gameplay of some 3DS games. So I hope you all stick around for that and watch those videos. And I do apologize this video took a few weeks to get uploaded, but I hope it was helpful. And thank you for watching. Have a good day.